And today we're actually cooking because Brittany has started a new segment, Baking with Brittany. Breakfast with Brittany. Breakfast with Brittany. <laughs> Oh man, I'm already <laughs> messing up. Breakfast with Brittany and uh, your newsroom counterparts weren't so on board with the breakfast part or the baking part. Right. I, I mean, I normally bake, but I do mm -hmm. some cooking too. So mm -hmm. I said, what should I make on Friday when we do the first segment? Chili. And I thought, what? Well, we're going to go ahead and do it because yeah. we eat various foods at all times of the morning. And but now, is this a recipe that you... This is my recipe. You, you mm -hmm. already have yeah, in, in your file. Yeah, I've had it for years. I've made it for years. I kind of pick and chose from several different recipes, made my own over the years and kind of perfected it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And so it's Southwestern Veggie Chili. You want to take a stir? You want to stir that up for yes. me? Yeah, so just I can do that. I'm recap. very good at stirring. So we're making chili, which of course you can eat in the morning. We're going to, but we thought going into it's that time of year where you want chili sports oh, on the weekend. Yes, this is and looking good. We're going to turn that into a breakfast treat too, coming up on our CW22 what? broadcast. Yeah, we're gonna make it with tortillas and eggs you and burritos. You are setting yourself up for a lot here. <laughs> well, oh, we're gonna boy. do it. Okay, so and just so you know up. what's in here so far, we have some. We have about a cup of red onions. Chopped is there a fairy. way to take our overhead camera? shot on uh, the pot maybe. or I can, oh here we go oh can't read I'll move the pot so you can see what's in okay. here be careful it's warm we might need um, it's okay I have we're okay. the handles are not here we go here we, we go see. here we go so so you far, can see the steam yeah. coming out and you can see the wonderful ingredients now what we did is we inside. had a half cup water with one cup very finely diced red onion two cloves of garlic crushed we cooked that up and then we added to it one red bell pepper diced one jalapeno diced mm. and also a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon You're of coriander. You're speaking my language <laughs> so right now. You, All spicy yeah, things. Yeah, you need to get that going. That's sort of, I, I mean, I guess in a baking recipe or a pasta recipe, you might call it the roux, mm -hmm. but that's sort of where you want to develop the flavor. And then the one thing that I add, you know, not that I'm a sponsor of it or anything, but to give it the Southwestern flair, I add the paste, a jar of paste piccani sauce. And it has to be this brand. That's why I mention it. It will not taste the same without it. So this is part of what, yeah, so the paste piccani sauce, I use medium because I like it a little spicy. Can I side track you? Is yes, this meat? Okay. Is this meat this cooking here? Are, these are fake meat crumbles. So wow. yes, please keep those stirred up. Can I taste one? Or do they well, taste good by itself? Yeah, it does, but you're, it's not quite ready yet. Okay, so not quite ready So stir that up. So we've got this now cooking to where it needs to be. Now we got to start adding the other stuff. Okay. So what we have here are two cans of black beans, one can of cannellini beans, one can of dark red kidney beans. They've been rinsed and drained. You definitely want to rinse, the, rinse them. You don't want that kind of gobbly gook that comes in the can on gobbly them. Gobbly gook. That's technical. <laughs> That's very technical. Terms. Well, and you, we're adding our own spices. We want to flavor it ourselves. I would say you can add any var variation of beans you want. You can add all black beans, all kidney beans, all white cannellini beans, great northern beans, pinto beans, whatever. But definitely don't add those jars of chili beans because they come in their own the chili pre. sauce. And frankly, A, I don't like the taste, and B, that will ruin the flavors that That's you're trying to develop. That's the biggest insult you can give an actual good <laughs> chef is asking, did you just make this out of a can? Oh yeah, no, no, no. We're adding all of the ingredients ourselves and developing <laughs> the flavors ourselves. So if you want to dump those in. I can do that. That's easy. See, dump, it in, dump it in here. Dump it in there. Okay. And then stir them up. Yeah, I've been trying to get them to drain out there. Here we go, here we go. Yep. Live on television, every single bean made it into the pot. Okay, now this might be the hard part. We're gonna add the tomatoes in. Now, you can add various kinds. What do you mean hard? Well, it might splash, that's what I'm worried oh, about. Oh boy, here we I'm go. I'm the one with the apron, so maybe I'll do it. Yeah. So I personally use crushed tomatoes. Okay. You can get diced, petite diced, I've used before. Okay. But I'm really weird about chunks, so that's why I like everything very finely diced. What do you mean weird about chunks? I don't like chunks. Really? <laughs> I hate chunks. Okay, All right, no chunks. For the chunk free family. Sorry. The most pickiest eaters will love this. Yeah. So we got that one jar. Hold on, I'm going to bring it over to the okay. overhead camera. And then you step back while I add okay. it and you can start. Wait, wait, for me. are we ready? Yeah, here oh. we go. Okay. <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it, right. we did it. Back on the burner, back so on the burner. Stir this up and okay. basically just what we're going to do, just to quickly wrap up and let you know how we'll finish that, that's going to cook for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add in the fake meat crumbles. In your case, you can add in real meat, you can add turkey. And then I have some frozen corn. Just put a little sprinkle in there as much as you would like, and okay. that makes it sort of southwesterny too. Okay. And then the one last ingredient that I have to have if I want the flavor I want, again, not that I'm trying to promote a certain brand, but just if you want to make it like I'm making it today. Mm -hmm. the Cholula hot sauce, no other hot sauce. Have you I tried it with other hot sauces? Yeah, and it's not the same because I feel like a lot of hot sauces just add heat without mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. This has flavor and heat, so that's what I'm going to add. Flavor so, and heat. 
All right, we have made our chili. We will see the fin final product coming up on the CW22, but this is basically all we've done all the steps now, and then we're going to turn it into a breakfast treat. Woohoo! So far, so good. All right, smelling good in here. Yes. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Crunchy Morning News.